I'm uh, Richard Flanagan. Uh, I go by the name of Dick. Uh, I, uh, when I uh, left the service, I was a radium in second class. It was tough. I, uh, uh, I went to school under the uh, Korean GI Bill, and uh, I thought I wanted to be an electrical engineer. But when I came out, my wife was pregnant. I got married when I was 20, and uh, right before I got out. And uh, I, uh, I was going to school. I was working in construction. I helped build the Throgzak Bridge, the underpass for the George Washington Bridge, Brooklyn Queens Expressway, Harlem River Drive. I dug ditches, and I had two and three jobs at all different times. I mean, working in a gas station while I'm doing that and delivering groceries. I mean, I did everything I could because by that time I had two children. And, uh, and then after a year of uh, going for an electrical engineer, I said, I don't want to be an electrical engineer. So I did go to work. I went down to Wall Street. Uh, I had a bad, I, I'm sorry, I became a milkman and I was delivering milk, had a bad auto accident and a guy went through a yield sign and uh, we collided. He hit me and I hit him like this and all the milk cases came forward and hit me in the back. So I was in the hospital for quite a while and finally I said, I, I don't think this is a job for me. So. I did get through my cousin. I got a, uh, a job in Wall Street, and I uh, I worked from the lowest job as a figuration clerk. Uh, no, as as a comparison clerk. I'd sit facing a wall like this and check off when the trade went through for a hundred shares of this, and I'd have to check off the hundred shares of that. And I worked for Sutro Brothers and Company, and then they had a problem, and. Uh, so I went to work for Reynolds and Company. I became uh, an internal auditor, and uh, then I became head of the dividend department. And somebody said to me, I had about, about 25 or 30 people working for me in, in Reynolds and Company. And uh, somebody said to me, why don't you go into the insurance business? And I said, well, I." I took a test one time when I first came out of the service and for one of the airlines and they said, I don't have any sales aptitude. I said, are you kidding? He said, you're a natural salesman. So finally, this guy talked me into it. I took a test uh, for Metropolitan Life and he said, you have the highest mark we've ever had given here for sales aptitude. I said, you're kidding me. <laughs> so I worked for Metropolitan Life for two years, and then I wanted to go into my own business, and I had an interview with State Farm Insurance, and they hired me as, as an agent, and I had my own agency in Manhattan for 52 years. I retired December of uh, 16. Uh, I had seven employees. I paid uh, well, of course, they made commissions on the commissions that for stuff that they wrote for me. I paid their health insurance. I gave them a uh, a pension plan, and uh, I was number three in the country in fire insurance out of twenty thousand agents. So it was a good move for me to do this. Uh, I would have retired probably 10 years earlier, but they, they were my employees. They weren't employees for State Farm. They were my employees. And they wouldn't have a job. So I, I just kept on working and working. And, and then finally I said, uh, I gotta stop. I had a bad illness. Well, what you have to do is think what's best for you and what's going to be best for your family? And what's going to be best for this country? Today, we had 
uh, we had lunch aboard the battleship uh, New Jersey. And uh, I sang a song there. And uh, I was in, uh, in Ireland when 9-11 came. And I sang God Bless America over there in a pub. And the people were so, when they saw me afterward, they just said, thank you so much for doing that. And today, when I sang that, my shipmates said, one woman just said to me, she said, you brought tears to my eyes. So whatever you do, do the best you can. And I said to them after singing that, I said, you know, we're all here today because we're good people and we're good Americans. And that's what I say to everybody. I say to my, my I have 15 grandkids, I have six kids, I have six great grandkids. They are all doing something that's right.